so it's winter time here in Sweden. And I have just moved into a new studio. Pretty close to where I live. And I thought I might show you too how it looks. show here are actually not uh, the room that I'm renting but it's over here this here. and here we go still moving in I can have some boxes here that I need to get placed somewhere somewhere good this is a cozy little room just perfect for uh, for what I need and uh, I don't need much more. This is uh, this is for for working on my stuff, for working on some uh, some music, producing, editing music here. <clears throat> There's possibility for me to record in the other in the other room, but also like sometimes I sit and work with some implementation in inside of games. Like it's really perfect for for what I'm doing right now and I can have this as a dedicated room to just close off the world sit and focus on my stuff and work on, on the music for, for among other things the game that I'm working on I have my uh, my synth synthesizer that I bought half a year ago I have my studio monitors I have two screens here I have room for my See, I room for my guitars, and I love the these the, the tree details. Homely, I don't know the English word for that. Very cozy, very cozy, and especially now at this moment in the winter time in Sweden, where it's, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Uh, having some some place that sort of feels like a cabin, it's perfect wow yeah so this is this is it i'm still getting uh you know moved in still getting accustomed to having a place where i can sit and work like this so i've been doing a bit of different stuff lately regarding the game song that i'm working on so i'm composing and writing the music for a song and producing it so while we're on the topic of uh song the desert blade the game that i'm composing music for um, we have a Steam page, and I think you should wishlist our game so you can check it out uh, as soon as it comes out, so you'll be notified as soon as it comes out. We also have a Discord server. Check it out, hang around a little bit, see what's up. And uh, I'll leave a link to the Steam page down in uh, the description. So wishlist our game and join our Discord server so you can see what's up, because I'm really excited about this game and I know Fisky Fisco is also really excited to to show what's up with this game so now back to the vlog there's a lot of you know like there's a lot of instrument there's a lot of detail there's a lot of things that needs to needs to happen in this boss fight that I'm working for what I needed to do was uh, I wanted to figure out a way so I don't have to have like the technical things I don't want to have them in my head when I'm writing music when I'm being creative like that's what you use tools for that's what you use you know pen and paper so this thing keeps in tra in check every little thing that i have here that i worked on so far so i have phase two intensity layer zero phase two intensity layer one you see when i change here these things will be exported separately if i click here these things will export files exactly as they are configured inside of inside of Reaper. This works also for several takes here. So let's say on the same loop that I have here, I want to have this thing play a different kind of articulation, a different kind of musical idea for this specific layer. So I can jump between them. This is so great. Now I can sit and work. I don't have to try to keep everything in my head 
what part is the first phase of the boss fight, what part is the second phase of the boss fight. So whenever I get a revision on, like the first thing that happens in the first layer here on the first phase is out of tune or whatever, <laughs> then okay, that's no problem. I can just go back, I can activate it, just like I showed you, switch between states and uh, and go into that specific thing. Okay, they wanted this file, it's named like this inside of inside of my cluster manager. So I can go there, I can activate that, change that little thing, render only that thing, which all the things that I've changed inside of that small, small item with that cluster. And finally, I can, I can render it out. I can send it off to my client and it's done. And I don't have to have everything in my head. Like it's so amazing. I don't have to sit and try to remember every little detail that I made for this specific part, for this specific instance inside of like the game. I made this tool and I feel like it's really something extraordinary because now I can focus on my creativity and not be stuck up in technicalities like rendering the right stuff or, or getting, the, getting the right file name for everything. It's all saved here inside of my project, in program. Excellent. Perfect. It's so great. So these are my work in progress. As for the tool that I'm working on, uh, I'm really excited about this. It, it, it has improved so many things for, for what I'm doing and how I work with music. My goal is to get this to a point where all of those things that needs to be done, it's all saved here inside of my project. Thought I'd show you a little scenery around the studio. It's a small hill, it's not a mountain, but it's still worth climbing anyways. And you get a good view of you get a good view of Stockholm as well when you get up there. This is it. Here we have it. The big view. Top of the hill. And here is Stockholm. Somewhere down there is the studio. steps in. You know, I always like to think about climbing mountains. I'm not a mountaineer myself, but I do watch a lot of documentaries and interviews with people who are, who are mountaineers. And one thing that I always think is very important to remember is that no matter which mountain you decide to climb, to ascend, it could be a real mountain or it could be some, some different, you know, metaphorical mountain. But whatever mountain that you decide to ascend, it doesn't really matter if you ascend it, if you can't climb down from it and tell the story about it. Otherwise, that's where you will get stuck. I like to think about that sometimes. So like I said, this is my new station. This is where I write music, where I produce music, and where I code stuff, where I do implementation of, of the games. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you soon. I'll try to get more vlogs in because it's a fun format. And uh, you can't AI generate a vlog, can you, right? Well, I guess you could. But you don't, uh, you can't generate a vlog like this uh, through ChatGPT, and I think that's uh, something that's worth, you know, something that's worth doing is is this to show that well, 
you know, this is this is not AI. This is this is generated by a brain and some creativity and some uh, and some coffee. You know, I'll get I'll get uh, I'll do more of this uh, as time goes by. But uh, it's also takes some time to do, and uh, yeah, just happy to show you what I'm doing. Yep. Okay, I'll see you around.